I came here to uh, brief. Uh, I'm surprised that the Senate knows so little about the C919, this aircraft, now that being underdeveloped uh, with $29 billion in Chinese uh, subsidy for the R&D uh, for this aircraft. If you don't recognize these aircraft really well, well uh, this is a competitor to the 737, which as senators you guys probably always fly. Uh, one of the best-selling uh, uh, mid-range uh, U.S. airliners. Want to make sure that just as this aircraft hits the uh, market in 2018, as we expect, uh, we, uh, we have an export impact port bank to, uh, to finance sales of U.S. aircraft overseas and make sure that that this thing is not that when, you know, these days when you get on an airplane in, uh, for United uh, or, uh, or American, you're overwhelmingly likely to be at a fly in the USA aircraft. Want to make sure that uh, you're not flying China in the future days. There are so many jobs associated with the civil aviation in the United States, as the chairwoman uh, pointed out. This aircraft is now coming on to compete with us. There, there, there should probably be a two aircraft up. There is a, a Russian jet coming that's called the Super Jet that will uh, also be in the 737 space. I want to make sure that we have Export Import Bank to take on these competitors to make sure that our U.S. dominance of this, of this field is continued. So let's keep U.S. Uh, aviation going and make sure that it's always made in the USA. That, uh, that is uh, very important for our senators who are always flying to make sure you're always a U.S. standard, U.S. built manufactured aircraft. Want to make sure that that continues. And that okay. concludes my statement. So uh, remember, you guys, the C919, it's coming to get us. And uh, this is the time to uh, not uh, stop the operations of XM. I'll uh, briefly continue. Uh, these, uh, these aircraft generally sell for between 50 to 100 million each. When we've heard about the uh, discounts that the chairwoman mentioned, sometimes you could get the price down to. Uh, 50 or 25 million, which will really uh, wipe us out if we have a uh, price that low. Want to make sure that that uh, entire, you know, there is a huge uh, supply chain standing behind each one of these aircraft. Make sure this all American uh, to, to uh, make sure that we keep going. With that, let me uh, conclude my uh, brief on the C919. Thank you, Senator thank, Kirk. Thank you. It, could I just ask you, what, what do you think the impact uh, is in the state of Illinois as it relates to in the state of Illinois, we have about $175 million in exports, which are funded by XM, with over 100 com companies. 